can't. I can't. Oh my God, this movie has my blood pressure on a thousand. Well, everyone, I'm here with the 2022 film, Terrifier 2. I know, I believe I said that I was going to watch the sequel in October during spooky season for the vibes and everything, but I'm like, let me just get it over with. It's been three days since I've watched the first film. You could click up here for my reaction or in the description box. And I was like, okay, you know what, let me just get the sequel over with i'm not eating any food i no longer want to eat food during horror reactions also i just want to mention that i will no longer do the hidden emoji within my movie commentaries because i don't really see people commenting the hidden emoji so i'd rather not waste my time when it comes to editing trying to incorporate that aspect to my uh movie commentary reactions but yeah and it's also officially summer yay nay nay for me because i sweat so without further ado oh gosh i don't know how there's a sequel because didn't art the clown die he boom but then he comes back to life so are we dealing with some sort of paranormal resurrection type of thing i don't know i'm about to find out so without further ado here's my reaction to terrifier 2. Oh, we're picking up where we left off. I like that. I like that. Oh, the quality is crisp now. The first film was kind of like grainy. Like it had a grainy film to it. It's going to be too late. You don't hear him choking on his own. Oh. Oh. He's, he's already dying. <laughs> Ooh, an eye for an eye. This is not on some Naruto stuff where you could take somebody's Sharingan and place it in your damn eye. Oh my good. So this is still Halloween night. Okay, we see some yams. Bro, he don't got no butt. Good God. He got a daughter? What the heck? <laughs> His face. Oh, Lord. Where is that coming out of? Do I even want to know? Why is he thinking of a little, is it supposed to be like a little girl version of himself? Art the Clown is back. He is on the attack. We don't know what he got next. But you can guarantee, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to rap. I'm the kind of person I have to write lyrics down. I can't freestyle, so. <laughs> so, did you figure out what you're dressing up as tomorrow? The mouse kind of clown. You cannot be for real. Oh my God, you for real. No, you for fake. No, you for real. So what are your plans tomorrow? Megan Melanie's throwing a Halloween party. Mom, do you ever wonder about Jonathan? What do you mean? He's into some sick stuff for his age. Now he's he's talking about n Holocaust. I mean, it's just a face, yeah. No, that's something you need to pay attention to. Parents nowadays do not pay attention to what their kids are doing. They don't monitor. What, and then they'd be surprised. Oh my God, that's not my son. That's not my daughter. I did. I I, I don't know where they got this from. Like you don't. Oh. Uh. Know the difference between right and wrong. Your brother's fine. So you think it's normal to look up serial killers? Okay, I see your parenting skills are not that great. Seconds. 
Yeah, but nobody would mess with you. Oh, that Should sword has to I'm come into play. Please. <laughs> Seeing like old school horror films looks it's so funny to me. Oh, she must be dreaming. How about no? This is giving me it vibes. But the um mini series, not the movies. Oh, it's gonna get so bad. Why hers gotta come in a newspaper wrapping? I don't want it. Ew. He pulling out a Scarface type of move. Say hello to my little friend. What? Why is she reaching in the box? Just pull the stuff out. Why are you putting your hand in it? Okay. Her critical thinking skills are at a zero. Wait, what? I said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Wait, is this real? This has to be a dream. Oh, it's real. How? That's weird. Get back to bed. You have school in the morning. You mean I still have to go? What did I say? <laughs> Why can't you just believe me? Because. Okay, I just felt like that scene was kind of cringe to me, like the acting. Uh, but we're not here for the acting. We're here for like, the spectacle, okay? But what I wanted to say was, don't tell me the sequel is going to be one of those films where it just no longer is grounded in reality it it's incorporating some supernatural type of element into it i don't like that i don't like when a horror film the first one was good you know it was simple it's just a crazy man out here going after people but now it seems like there's some sort of entity or some paranormal thing that's happening i don't like that Don't tell me the sword has some, like, supernatural type of abilities. There's history, and it could defeat Art the Clown type of... <sighs> Please don't go there. Make sure you park in the garage when you get home. Wait, so she's still able to go to her party? Absolutely not. You are grounded. You are confined to this planet. Now, why is he conjuring up her? Is that his daughter, sister? A younger version of himself, but in a, a, a female version? Ooh, we gotta see her Victoria's face. So does this mean in the beginning of Terrifier, we were actually seeing, ooh, this moment right here in Terrifier 2. And then we was, so the whole first film was like a flashback to the events that happened that led up to how he is right now. Yeah, that sounds about right. What are you guys doing? We're doing what Sean found. It's the new mascot. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ew! I remember elementary school, they was like, they put lead in the water, don't drink. Ever since then, I don't. Well, when I was in school, I never drank from the water fountain. I'm like, I'm gonna get blood poisoning. It's gonna be in my system. Wait, he should only be seeing Art, the clown. He shouldn't see the little girl. Woo! Ooh! Woo! 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 Oh! I want. Oh, come on! I wonder. When there's horror films that involve children, do they bring a psychiatrist on set so that it doesn't really affect the child's like mental health? Because this teacher got no bra on? Oh no, and then she's gonna think, oh, I'm sorry, like I was having the movie play, but I had to mute. But like for real, do they bring like a psychiatrist on so like the psychiatrist helps the child like prepare for the scene because I feel like stuff like that when you're working with child actors it can really like stay with them I understand they could be told oh it's just a movie it's just a movie but 
you don't know really how impactful it is. So I always wondered that. And I heard that her cheek, like a little bit, was found at the bottom of Victoria Hicks' shoe. Why are you talking yeah. about it with amusement? That's sick. That's what I like. That's what I like. Thank you, officer. I'm so sorry to cause you trouble. No problem. Have a nice day, ma'am. You too. Mom, I out of your room. I don't want to hear another word out of you until I say so. Hey, the mom is going through it. House nearly burned on fire. Now you got the cops at your home. Hi, how are you? Oh no. <laughs> Wait, so his eye is just fine now? It looked like nothing happened. I think I left my bag downstairs. I, oh, if I left my purse and then someone brought it back, I'm like, did you take anything? Did you take my wallet, money? Oh, he's going to flip it. Oh, no. Ricky, no. You got to go, Ricky. of them talking about this damn fire but already it's like i could just tell they drag out certain scenes certain moments and that's why this movie's so damn long but i'm a power through y'all i'm a power through she's just pissed because i might get suspended suspended for what oh you didn't tell her your brother brought a dead animal to school this morning why is she talking to the daughter like the daughter's the dad or something? It, I don't know. It's just the acting amongst the family group is weird. Uh, aren't you a little old to be trick-or-treating? Wait a minute. Aren't you that guy from the costume shop? You are. And you're not concerned? What are you doing here? Oh, hell no. I want to close the... Seriously, do I you want to close the door. Here or something? Very effective. And the blood is a nice touch also. Yeah. He's like, thank I you. Now get in the bag. Anything. Here. Happy Halloween. Oh. Oh, you want to get fucked up. You want to get... Call. Call the police. Oh, wait. I shouldn't say that over my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes later, cops are at my house. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm like just at the hour mark. And I still got another hour and a half to go. Wait, not a, I'm sorry, not an hour and a half. An hour and like 15 minutes to go. <sighs> Already, guys, I like the first one better. <laughs> you better work. It's supposed to be like Z. Uh, what's that show? I think it's Xena, the warrior princess. Oh, the friend is going to die. I don't understand why she didn't call the police after seeing him. Oh, oh, I would be out the house so fast if I heard something like that. Like if I heard something break downstairs right now in my house, I'm climbing out my window. Like, I'm grabbing my phone and I'm climbing out the window. Oh, how could... Ooh! Go back upstairs. Go back to the safety of your room. What do you need to investigate further? Go back upstairs. Like, it's just a... He's in your kitchen! Go back upstairs! Run! The slowest character. Why are you watching him? You think he's gonna whip up a five course meal? Like, go back upstairs! Look at the flick of Look at the flick of You know what? I, she, she's done for. Oh, now you wanna freaking run. Oh! Dang! She, she wasn't 
wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. I can't. Oh, one eternity later. She's still alive. This is. Demented. Oh my, he effed her up. Oh! Oh! When is it gonna end? Oh, fudge! Oh my god! Salt on the wall! One of those high blood pressure things. 911. 911. 911. Oh my god! Run out the house! Reaction! Reaction time! She's still alive? No way she would be alive. You would die from shock. Can you call the freaking police? Horrible mom. The, I'm telling you, the moment I walk in my house, like yeah, I'm a I'm gonna be calling my daughter, but I'm also at the same same time. I understand it's so easy to say because in the moment I don't know how I would really truly react. But come on, if I walk into my daughter's room and I see her mangled body on the bed like that with some stranger i'm closing the door and i'm out the house with my phone in hand or some i'm just out the house oh no you could tell when something is real and when something is fake oh my gosh i'm just upset because i know the mom could have made it she's just standing there oh Like 20 minutes when you could have been out the door. Why can't you understand? You don't know who he was or what he was doing half the time in this. I can't and take the mom seriously. Such a Ooh! Don't you ever say that to me again. I'm so afraid that the son is going to die. And like that was the last moment they had with each other. Don't tell me art. It's like just going from home to home. I'm thinking of that song. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up. You know, remember early YouTube days? Now you know your son couldn't have done that. Did he do that? Because I'm like, there's no way Art would have known that the son would have called her a Oh, this reminds me of the black phone. Go check out my reaction. Do not get in the van. Things are gonna change. Oh! Surprise, mother Okay. I was, I knew it wasn't the sun. There was no way he did all of that that damn fast. Oh man. Now they're orphans. Go right back out the house. Go, you know what? They, these characters have terrible reaction time. Woo! Woo! Go out the door. Run! What is up with these characters just watching this dude do stuff? I 
I know that in horror films, we just have characters do dumb-ish, but the direction of this film or the writing, it's not good. So you're telling me you're having this kid, I forgot his name already, just standing there, seeing Art come into the room, put the, the, the pot down, open the pot, take the mashed potatoes, jam it into the mom's face. And then you mean to tell me Art, he legit had him, but then he kind of like let him go. Not that I want the kid to get hurt, but it's like, it's just moments like that. It takes me out of the movie. It, it killed me. I was trying to do something nice for you. Jesus. By putting a drug without her consent in her drink? Okay. That's being nice? Okay. Oh, Lord. What in the I do not get... Is the girl real or not? This is so stupid. This whole movie so stupid. I just, I'm always going to keep it real with y'all. I'm not feeling this movie anymore. And how much more time I got left? I still got like a whole other hour left. Just, just wait for my review y'all. But I, obviously you could see the sample of it. I'm just not feeling it anymore. <laughs> and then here comes Art. Yeet, yeet, yeet. No, no, please don't. Oh! 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 Mm. She could have been out the. Oh! Oh! Is he gonna put it? Never mind. I thought he was gonna put it in her mind. Get out! Kick him! Thank you! Finally, something a character done right in this damn film. Oh, he's gonna club her. You better learn how to bob and weave. Oh, he about to. Tell me why I shouldn't throw this drink in your ass face. Oh, dang. Just like the first movie, I'm gonna have to censor so much. Oh! Oh! I am disgusted. I feel so nauseous. Like, I got saliva building in my mouth. be that easy oh shoot oh my god oh! come on girl put all your your strength in that swing Because I'm already, I couldn't even say the, the Lord's Prayer right. Ooh! Okay, this is, it's going way, it's going overboard. Ooh! This is reminding me of like Passion of the Christ. I can't watch. Come on, start doing something. Oh my God, this movie has my blood pressure on a thousand like they're dragging this scene out y'all we go wrap it up box things will come to an end at the perfect time he's probably into that oh 
How much longer? How much longer, guys? How much longer? Oh, brother. I got 20 more minutes. Wait, so the brother's dead and that whole thing just never happened? Oh, that's the most disrespectful thing. You know me. If you see my blade reaction, where you spit on somebody, oh, I have the right to throw hands at you. Is that the portal to down there? Is that him behind her or am I tripping? I knew he was behind her. Wow. I hope that this was all a dream. I hope this is all a dream. Stop this movie reaction right now. I'm being so serious, y'all. Many unbearable hours later. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna let the credits roll. If you're gonna click out, if you liked my reaction, Please give it a thumbs up. I'm not going to fake it on here. This was a load of boo-boo. There was no need. Absolutely no need to make a sequel. I'm just tired of Hollywood or studios. As soon as a movie does well, great reception. Oh, because it's doing well, people want more. So we're going to give them more. Don't do it if it's going to tarnish the legacy and I had a feeling there was going to be a credit scene. That's Victoria? What the heck? I know she ain't on her period. Don't tell me it's like art is being reborn. Basically, just don't try to do a cash grab because it tarnishes the legacy or the specialness of like the first film. So with this, are they trying to imply that there's just some power or entity that brought back Art the Clown and it embodies or is personified in this little girl like the little girl is like the entity and that's what uh sienna and jonathan have been seeing like nobody else sees this little girl except for them too it, it's gonna be so much to me like the best moment of this film was the bedroom scene with uh sienna's friend very like this whole film was disturbing to watch but just how the first film had the scene, like, if you know what I'm talking about. But this one was that, the bedroom scene. Who thinks like this? Like, to come up with this film and be like, oh, we're gonna have him come into the room. And then he just, like, messes her up. But we're gonna, like, I, I feel like I can't even, if it's even safe to describe the scene on here. But if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about and what he did. How does the writer think of stuff like that? I just felt like I lost, like I lost it when, with the arm, and then he, and then, oh, he messed her up. It's like which one was hard to watch the the scene with the girl upside down in the first one or the bedroom scene? I think I'm gonna do a poll. I don't. It's 
which one was hard to watch the for the from the first film what do i want to call it i'm gonna I'm say upside down girl i'm a, so that's from the first movie or the bedroom scene and i'm gonna I'm make a poll because i if you ask me oh it, it's hard to really compare and pick one over the other which was less gruesome but what really like just took me out of this film was mainly the acting and the dragging out of the scenes. This could have been easily an hour and a half film like the first one. I felt like all this stuff with the dad, like this whole supernatural thing with the dad having premonitions, art coming back, the significance of the sword and the daughter being the one to end art, like all of that could have been taken out. That was so unnecessary. And that's why at least the last 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes of this film, I was just over it. I really, I this probably would have been the first reaction where I would have just stopped watching the rest of the film because it was just bad. Like, you guys don't understand, there are other movies that I have sat here and recorded and either I watched the whole thing but decided to scrap it or I was like in the editing process process and I wasn't feeling it and I scrapped it. So with this, the dragging out of the scenes, the acting, and honestly this went a little bit overboard when it came to art and some of the um the gruesome scenes. Again, like the editing is really I'm obviously I can't even show much I may have to like mute certain parts like it's just a lot because I don't have the kind of editing where I can like have me on screen with the movie still playing in the background but it's like blurred I work with iMovie y'all so there's only so much that I can do but yeah obviously this is gonna be a lot to edit because it is really long and of course, I'm going to have to like either take out scenes. If I mute certain aspects, don't worry. Your your audio on your end is fine. I just may have to mute it. I'm probably going to have to make some scenes black and white. You know, I have to do all this extra stuff. So, uh, yeah, if, you, uh, if I had to rate it, this is the lowest ranking I've ever done on my channel. But I'm giving it half a sword or 0.5 out of five swords. Like... It was just bad. It was just so bad. Like, the only thing that was, like, reminiscent of, like, some of the qualities from the first film was obviously Art the Clown, like, his mannerisms and stuff. And then, like, the bedroom scene. But to me, to give backstory to Sienna and her family, and then this whole she's supposed to be the savior and then she got resurrected like all of that took me out so I am over this film I'm glad that I got it underneath my belt and I didn't wait till October is there going to be a third one now because it seems like he's obviously not dead and I don't like how it was also reminding me of uh Freddy Krueger like Freddy Krueger and art should be two separate two separate lanes don't have art mimic what freddie did like freddie set the standard he was doing his own thing he's original he is a trendsetter with his whole thing with dreams and just i don't even know what's the word for it so i don't like how this post credit scene with him his head it like that reminded me of like the ending of freddie versus jason when jason came out of the water with uh freddie's head that's what it reminded me of and then also why all of a sudden is victoria crazy i would think after an experience like that she would be mute she just don't want to like be here anymore like sorry to say that but like and i don't know what it's like to experience a very traumatic like that was messed up what she went through to go from that to now kind of being like him and I think that's just so out of pocket it's so strange so I think that post credit scene wasn't needed unless it's trying to imply that there's going to be a third film but this was unnecessary this didn't really need to be made but if they wanted to do a terrifier too they could have 
written it way way better it could have just been explained better but yeah so that was my review reaction and commentary to terrifier 2 i hope they don't make a third one okay but that was my reaction um give this video a thumbs up if you happen to like it hey i'm just being so honest subscribe down below if you're new and you will see me in the next video bye guys